It's been five days since Chester Bennington took his life. It's been five days since one of my biggest inspirations left this world, and I'm still left with this void, thinking that he's gone, and I have mornings where I wake up and it's difficult to breathe even fathoming that he's no longer in this world, and realizing that I'm never going to meet him now. It just leaves me very unsettled and sad and depressed. But what makes it more difficult? Like, I mean, obviously the mourning process is going to be a long time. Like, I'm going to be mourning this a long time. A lot of Linkin Park fans, and not to mention his family and the rest of the band, everyone, they're going to be mourning his loss, or this loss, for a long time. But what I find to be most difficult are the people who treat me peculiarly because I am this devastated over the loss of a celebrity because most people are just like, oh, well, this person's a celebrity. You never met them, so why is it so significant to you? Why are you this devastated? Why don't you just get over it and move on? And I'm just like, you don't understand the connection. For many of us, Linkin Park was our only friend through the music when we were in high school or college. I remember when I was in late high school and early college when I had my CD player or my MP3 player, Linkin Park seemed to be the only people who could understand what I was going through because they sang about what I was going through. And that's why I started feeling a connection to people like Chester and Mike and everyone else, because music is that conduit. Music is that expression and that pouring of creativity in the world and we all attach ourselves to that. We all interact with that type of thing. And that's how that relationship or connection manifests itself. And a lot of people don't experience that, I guess. And that's why they don't really understand it. But the reason why I wanted to make this video was to say that, you know, even though you may not feel as close as I do to a certain celebrity, that doesn't dehumanize the celebrity in any way. And I really think it's time that people stop devaluing the lives of celebrities. Just because they have money and fame, that does not mean that their lives are perfect. And I think Chester is an example of that. I'm getting especially infuriated with the people who are claiming that Chester was a coward for taking his life. And in my mind, I'm just like, how inhumane and how insensitive can you be about an event like this? Yeah, maybe you did not agree with the action that he took, but you need to think about what led him to that action as well. Think about how our culture stigmatizes and basically brushes mental illness under the rug and in basically overshadows every conversation about mental illness. People who make these statements who call him a coward don't realize that he was a survivor of sexual abuse. They don't realize that he had drug addictions and issues with alcohol and that he faded in and out of overcoming them over time. They don't realize that he still struggled day to day because it's a daily battle. Depression is always a daily battle. It doesn't just snap and go away. So people who call him a coward, they are the cowards, truthfully, because they are the ones who don't want to see the reality of the situation. They don't want to see the problems that exist in our culture that stigmatizes mental illness, especially for men with mental illnesses. Because, of course, if you're a man, you can't you can't express that because you have to man up and just pretend it doesn't exist. Chester was open about that, and he spoke out about such things, and I think that's what made him so empowering for me, because I, too, am a survivor of sexual assault. I, too, have depression. I, too, struggle with these things day to day, these battles. And it's just scary thinking that he lost... He lost the battle. What can we do to keep on battling? And the truth is, like I said, like we both said in my last video, myself and Alicia, the only way we keep surviving is by talking about it and by listening to the music. And if you have never listened to Linkin Park, or if you can't possibly understand why many of us Linkin Park fans feel a connection and a, a horrible loss due to Chester's passing, Maybe you should pick up a CD or two and listen to it. You might understand him a little bit better, and in doing so you might understand yourself a little bit better. Stop devaluing the lives of celebrities, and stop criticizing those of us 
who are mourning the loss. Because these people are important. Chester was important. And he's... God, he's gonna be missed.